to go to rehab or to set up a meth lab. I may be a cynic, but the Betty Ford Clinic is never gonna break me from my habit of choice. It's my opium, my Xanax, and it's good for my voice. I hope you comprehend my reasoning. Twining slipped and even celestial seasonings. Keep your marijuana, got my own remedy. I self, self, medicate with tea. Boom. It's chamomile. Yeah. Hey guys, it's me and today I'm here with a new makeup tutorial for you guys and it is on this look that I'm wearing here for you guys today. It is inspired by Emily Autumn's cover artwork for her album Ophelic. I'm no longer really that big into Emily Autumn anymore like I used to when I was younger. I still enjoy her music. I listen to it occasionally but it's not something that I gravitate towards to. But just to help channel her during this makeup tutorial, I listened to Ophelia the whole time doing this makeup, so yeah. And also, before we get into this tutorial, I want to go ahead and apologize for not having a video go up on Wednesday. I was originally going to be posting my current music obsessions for September, but it was just going to be a super long video. Like, it was going to wind up being like nearly 45 minutes long, so I was just like, no. We ain't doing that. Instead, I'm going to be posting my current music obsessions for the month of September on my Tumblr. So if you want to check that out, the link is always down in the description box below. And also, just want to talk about this little heart little doodad right here. I did try to go around it with some black liquid liner earlier, but yeah, it didn't go too well. So we just got the red heart. So if you want to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So I already primed my eyes and did my brows off camera. If you want to know what I used on my brows, just check out the description box below. And I'm going in with the Corpse Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Coven. It's just this gorgeous red eyeshadow with a magenta pinkish kind of shift to it. And now I'm taking the NYX Primal Color in Hot and Red. And I'm just taking this through my crease to help blend out the edges of Coven and also to kind of blow it out. Then I went in with the lightest nude shade in the Makeup Revolution Ultra Mattes palette. And I'm just using this to buff out those edges just to soften them up a bit. Now we're going in with the pink toned highlight shade from this Wet n Wild highlighting palette. And I'm just highlighting my inner corners. I lined my water lines off camera. Then I smudged out the liner using Hot Red. Then I just lined my upper lash line using the e.l.f. liquid liner. Then I put on some mascara and I did my face makeup off camera. Once again, if you want to know what I use, check the description box below. And now I'm just applying Jeffree Star's Remover Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Rum onto my lips. I'm using a brush at first to apply the product just simply because it's really difficult for me to use the Dove Foot applicator because this product is so liquidy and my hands can get pretty shaky. So it's just easier to start out with a brush and then to go in with the Duo Foot applicator to intensify the color. I took Red Rum on this detailed paintbrush and I drew on the heart and then I also filled it in using Red Rum using that same paintbrush as well. So you can see the edges of the heart are looking kind of janky in some areas but it's very easy to clean that up. Just get your foundation that you used and just apply it to the edges of the heart just to clean up those edges and to sharpen things up a bit. Then I set everything in place using my Wet n Wild setting spray and boom that's the final look. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below and until I see you guys in my next video whenever the hell that may be. Goodbye!